Mexico is one of those places that has a little bit of everything to offer for every angler. It's a place I keep going back to. All right, boys. For me, Mexico has become a place that I can go and catch marlin, I can catch tuna, I catch wahoo, I catch dolphin. It has an incredible grouper fishery. The Sea of Cortez casting to the rocks for the Cabrilla. The opportunities for fishing in Mexico are really endless. One of the things about Mexico, it is incredibly diverse as a fishery. Not only does it have incredible offshore fishing and reef fishing opportunities, but it also has some of the best flats fishing opportunities in the entire Caribbean. And now I find myself here in Ascension Bay, arguably the permit capital of the world. The Yucatan of Mexico is arguably some of the best flats fishing in the world. And Ascension Bay is kind of the heart of it all. Bonefish, permit, tarpon, and snook flourish in the environments that are up and down the Caribbean side. That's the Royal Slam. There are very few places that you can go and have the opportunity in a single day to catch all four of those species. Punta Allen, right here. We're staying at Las Pescadores. Some friends of mine, LG, introduced me to have this beautiful little lodge here. And you can see our conditions are a little tough. It's blowing hard, but that's the way it goes in the Caribbean. So we're gonna go spend some time out on the flats, hopefully sight casting to the big four. I'm pretty excited about it. Nice thing about it is they have everything from schools, literally of 100 plus fish that are a little bit smaller to the big singles and pairs. I even heard Jose mention that he got a 55 pound permit on flying. I mean, how often does something like that happen? That's insane. This trip was really intriguing to me. There are two characters there, Lily and Jose. They've met and married. Lily is actually from North Carolina and now with Jose, have a fishing lodge together just south of Punta Allen. And Jose is considered the best permit guide in all of Mexico. Hey, Lily. Hey, you all set? I'm excited we get to go do this together. Yeah, me too. Yeah? I don't get to fish very much anymore. I know, that's what, work, that's work, what work, lodge work, life work, is, yeah. right? Careful what you wish for, right? <laughs> The two of them have set up a really unique lodging and fishing experience right on the beach, just north of Ascension Bay and south of Punta Allen. So there are only so many boats allowed in Ascension Bay because this is a park actually, right? It's a reserve. A reserve. It's a reserve. So actually, a if it was a national park here in Mexico, we wouldn't even be able to fish. But a reserve, they um, control the activities, but you can still do them. If it was a national park, you could only come here to bird watch and see dolphins and manatees and stuff. And you wouldn't even be able to, to fish. Yesterday. Ascension Bay is arguably a better fishery now than it was 15 or 20 years ago. It's not easy to find places like that. Okay, so this is the ticket to the reserve, the entrance. Okay, and we all, we need to wear these for the week. Yeah. Since the government implemented new regulations in this reserve and put a net band in place, this fishery has flourished. All right, okay. vamanos. Good thing the wind's not blowing today. I'm Howling. Cross our fingers that we get a little bit more better weather. Okay. What really makes this a healthy fishery is the complete ecosystem. This reserve encompasses the reef system out front, all of that habitat between the reef and the mainland and barrier islands, all the mangroves around the islands, and then this body of water, Ascension Bay. 
So pretty much like permit fishing in a lot of other places, the Keys or whatnot, we could see a single fish, we see a pair, or even small groups of them. Yeah. As an angler, I'm very aware what's going on around me whenever I'm fishing. But in a new place, I'm absorbing it all as fast as I can so that I can help assess situations and see what's going on. You know, we've got pretty heavy winds. So we've run all the way across Ascension Bay. We've got a little bit of lee on this side. We're fishing down a nice little bar. You a little bit of rock. We'll see, this is definitely permit grounds. The permit live in a little bit different water than the bonefish, typically a little bit deeper water. That rocky bottom. Now they're right here. Them, right next to us. To the left more, right there. Oh uh, yeah? Right there. Ah, they're right underneath us. There you go. Get, oh. oh, right back in. Damn it. That's all right, you're gonna get another one. They're all much shorter. They're coming at us. They're under your line. Right there flashing. Got him. Nice job, oh. Lily. About wrap my hand there. Keep it high out of the rocks. There you go, now you got him. Beautiful. Well done. Starting out the morning with a bonefish, beautiful. A little bit more for me. The channels between the islands, that's really what creates the perfect environment for all of these species. The bonefish, the permit, tarpon, snook, sharks, barracudas, jacks. Permit are pretty particular in the types of bottom they like to feed on. A little bit of current is also a good thing. And you know, if you're spending half your day looking for bonefish in shallower water or tarpon and snook along the mangroves, you're gonna miss the opportunities that you need to catch the permit. There we go. Huh? Bony That's Maroney. Having a good guy just makes it easy. I think I got a little baby one. I see a couple nice ones in there. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it before the shark get it. Oh boy. Lily, I think yours is a little bigger. Okay. When you've got that mini in a school, it's a little hard to get the one. You know, permit are already a very difficult fish to catch on the flats and with the fly rod. So you really kind of need everything to be going your way. Woo, here we go back to the wind. Weather and wind, something that we can't control, <laughs> is a pretty big issue. But you know what else is in a little bit deeper water on that rocky bottom, jacks? There's a, usually a big school of jacks on the, this other bank of this channel here. So we may be permit fishing, but I'm always prepared with a spinning rod for one of those other species. Hey, what is it? I haven't seen it yet, but I'm thinking it's a big jack. I don't see any other ones with him. They my twitch bait. Big jack creval. Nice. I saw him for a second. Yeah, we, I saw him too. I like the boat. Well, this is a Louisiana Jack Creval right there, buddy. Swam all the way down here to Mexico. I'm starting to see and understand why Ascension Bay has the potential that it has. Everything's here. Big Jack Creval, tough conditions. It kind of looks like a permit, but only a little different. <laughs> and more willing today. More willing, right? And more willing. I'll take that any day. 